The SATs could become a thing of the past. Some universities are trying to phase them out. Why? Inside Boston's Grant Mukai will fill in the blanks. For years, high school students have spent countless hours studying for the SAT standardized test for college admission. But starting now, the SATs may no longer be required. Universities, like this one, have long time required standardized tests as part of the admissions process. However, these tests have lately come under fire for being unfair. Fair Test, an organization that promotes test optional policies for students, believes that questions on the tests are better engineered for those who come from a privileged background, and a student with more money can, in a way, buy their way to a better score. Over the years, people have detected that built into the questions there are subtle biases in the use of language or in the expectations of a kind of background that people have, or it may not be an official expectation, but if you've had that background, it makes it easier to answer the question. Questions like these tend to use vocabulary words that wealthier students are likely to be more familiar with. For example, wealthier students also have access to coaching methods that poor students do not because they cannot afford to pay for them. But if you can certainly increase your score that can provide benefits at the margin in college's decision about whether or not to admit you, and that's a benefit that accrues to those who have more money. It adds to the fact that, of course, people with more money get to go to better schools. Private schools are, are well-to-do suburban schools. So they end up with the major advantage in the first place, both their family background and the schools they go to that have better resources, more likely to have highly qualified teachers, and so on. And then, essentially, the coaching just adds to that. Nearly one-third of universities in the nation have adopted test-optional policies. A complete list of schools can be found on FairTest's website at fairtest.org. While the trend against standardized tests is sweeping through universities, not everyone believes the SATs should be abandoned entirely. Even some Boston University students had supportive opinions in favor of this traditional standard. Yeah, I think they help colleges kind of differentiate from the very top tier of students to the middle tier because a lot of times GPAs may be similar between two um, students, but one student, you know, may really have a higher, you know, intelligence and be better on verbal and math skills, and the SAT can help show that. So I, I wouldn't recommend getting rid of it if I was a college admissions advisor. Because honestly, you have two years to take the SAT. There's unlimited resources, and um, you can, you can try hard in school, you can try hard in the SAT, really both of them are going to measure your motivation and your intelligence either way. So I don't, I don't think it should be de-emphasized. While the debate continues concerning the standardized tests, many schools don't count them as everything. In the words of Dr. Neal, it is real work that matters. For Inside Boston, I'm Grant Mukai. Universities say they're looking for students with more real-world experience. Let me tell you, the SAT is definitely the worst part about applying for college. No, I certainly don't miss all those practice tests.